So, in today's video guys, I'm about to show you the best secret tool. In order to boost your FPS, I'm not only going to show you the FPS boost tool, but also how to optimize your windows and how to get zero ping in any game. So, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. Type in services like SOAR and click the first one. And inside here you basically want to go through and disable all the unnecessary services that you don't use so one that I like to get rid of his wallet. So, if you press W, it should come up with the wallet service. And this is something that I don't use myself. I don't have the wallet app or anything like that. So, I like to go ahead and right click on it. Then go on other properties. Then into a startup. Up, and just go ahead and disable it. Then press apply and OK. Another one for example, is the inside a service. I've got no sort of intentions of being in it. Or having it running so I like to right click on it. Go into properties and go ahead and disable this too. Don't forget to apply and press OK. So now go to my website, I give link in description. And download the secret FPS boost and zero ping tool and follow me. Open PowerShell and run others as administrator yes. And copy the command from the FPS boost pack. And then paste that and press enter. It's gonna take a while. I'll just skip to when it loads. OK and um. Once you get here, click on Peaks and then Desktop and run two weeks. Oh yeah, then go to here, it's then uh, just start here. Once it's done, you could just close it and as a next step guys. I'm gonna recommend you the G Booster, which you can trade for apps absolutely with the free. link in description. Just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite, and it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds which latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement. Over 100% I've been using this for any games I'm Switch. playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is it's also searching actively in the background while you're actually playing for the best DNS service. It's consistently also you showing you the connection between your PC and the router the router and the actual game server so therefore as mentioned make sure you check it out with the in link. description but go in the versetons go under privacy and security then firstly in general i like to go ahead and uncheck all of these full right here as what list does as it prevents windows from actually trucking some of your theater as well as suggesting pop ups which can give you slate like spikes from there in the speech section i like to go ahead and turn off this as i don't use it then in the in con and type in personalization I like to go ahead and turn off this one too, as I don't use it diagnostics and feedback level 1. I like to go ahead and turn off, or rather disable. And finally under up permissions, I like to go through all of these, and just go ahead and disable all of them, but I don't use. You wanna go into your settings underneath, install apps inside here. You want to go through all the apps, so for example, if you've got Microsoft Teams and you do not use it, like Microsoft Dawned, you wanna click on these three dots, and simply uninstall it, and you can do the same for anything else. A meal and calendar isn't of one I actually don't use. Instead, I use Chrome or Gmail. So I'm gonna uninstall that. And there's a ton more as well, like camera for example. I've got no use for that whatsoever. So that's gonna go and if you try this for yourself, you'll notice there's a ton of applications that are installed on your PC that you don't actually use and you can get rid of. After that though, if you go into the advanced app settings, then share across devices. I like to go ahead and turn this one off. After doing that, I also like to go to the bottom one. That's startup and do pretty much the same thing as before, preferably for UPS that have a high impact. So take Microsoft Edge for example, I actually use Chrome. I don't want that to be a startup application, so that gets turned off and as you scroll down, you'll notice this. A few more UPS that will literally be the same thing. And another one I don't use is Microsoft the Microsoft OneDrive, and that's high impact too. So I want to go ahead and turn that off, as I don't even use it to begin with. So why would I want it to start and up with my PC? Inside the settings again, this time under system firstly under notifications, I like to scroll down all the way to the very bottom, where you see additional settings, give that a click, and I also like to uncheck for these options. Uncheck surely Windows welcome, experience after updates, and suggest ways to get the most out of Windows. And finish in upsetting this device. Also, uncheck this third one as well if you have it as already. apparently these free can give you tiny micro resters when they do appear. And after doing that, if you go slightly under where it says power, inside here, you can make a custom power mode to optimize your PC. 
Now, as you can see right I've here, I've gotten unbalanced. But, if you click on it, there's the options VS. Best Power Efficiency, or VS Best Performance. And, I think a lot of you will benefit from setting this. Onto Best Performance. Do give it a try though, and if not, just put it back under Balance. If you find that this is better for your PC, it's something you've got to try out. You go back into Settings yet again. This time, head into Gearman Bunder V Game Bar option. You want to turn off the game bar, as this option right here will significantly lower your FPS. So turn that off below that you'll see graphics. Then click change default graphics settings, and you'll see the first option here called hardware accelerated G. GPU scheduling now. What this does is it reduces reward on your CPU during intensive tasks, and it basically passes it over to your GPU. But that can't have a negative impact on your PC's performance. So most people do turn it off for that reason, however, for some people out there that have latest v. graphics cards, they actually find it bad. So, it's one of them, give it but a try. But for most people, they turn it off. Air for volts, variable refresh rate, you want this on. And then for optimizations for windowed games, you want this off as you should be playing full screen. And not windowed mode after that. Head into captures and turn off all of these settings. Right here, you do not want to use any of this. And thirdly in gear mode, this set, and I recommend you having it on, is a tandy to have things turned off in the background while you all play and this time in accessibility. Underneath visual effects, I like to select always show the scroll bars, as I just think it's useful in general. But to get a slight FPS boost, I like to also uncheck transparency effect.